Hi, welcome to Road by Culture. I'm your host, Kevin Isley. Today we're going to talk about a very cool water bottle by a San Francisco company called A Block. Water bottles are something we do not think about very often on our bicycles. We like them, some of them are free, some of them cost a lot of money, and I've done a video on what's important about water bottles. Being able to clean the tip because mold accumulates there. And that's the biggest thing I look for in a water bottle. A couple of months ago on Facebook, I saw an ad pop up for a block, or is it a block? You know, it's a French word, so possibly a bleu. I don't really know. Today in cycling, everybody's obsessed with the aesthetics of the bike. We spend five, 10, $15,000 on bicycles. That's insane. And we put the most beautiful parts on it and the saddles are just gorgeous and the paint jobs are amazing. We even get cool water bottle cages. A carbon bike gets carbon water bottle cages. It's all aesthetically perfect until the water bottle. And it's not that water bottles are unattractive. They have a long history on bicycles and there's a certain aesthetic to them that we've really just grown accustomed to. But one of the biggest problems about water bottles is the logos. It's the labeling of the bike shop or the water bottle company or whoever is giving you or selling you that water bottle. One of the best features about A Block's water bottle is its design. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you see water in here, that's because I went for a ride today and I used it. And this is a great water bottle. Yes, A Block has designed very beautiful water bottle here. And in fact, the little one has won a design award because look at that. That is just gorgeous. This is artwork. Every water bottle on the market that I've researched recently doesn't have BPA, but only A Block has created a water bottle that doesn't have phthalates. What are phthalates? Well, they're a part of making plastic, and it's what makes your water bottle super squeezy, right? And that's nice to have in a water bottle, but theirs doesn't have phthalates. The National Institute of Health says that phthalates in large amounts are a hormone disruptor and very bad for you, but in small amounts, they have no research or data. So enough about the science. Let's get back to design. I love design. This is a beautiful bottle. Bike riding is a beautiful sport full of beautiful bicycles. And this is a beautiful water bottle to go along with it. I'm very excited about this water bottle and I really want this company to succeed. They're a local 415, so I got a lot of love for them. But if you love Apple products, if you're a fan of design, if you're a fan of anything that is simple, beautiful, and streamlined, this has to be your next water bottle. Now that we've talked about the beautiful design of the bottle, and we've talked about how it's not gonna scratch the label off, you're gonna start seeing it in your own water bottles and out there on the road on other people's bottles. It's gonna kind of maybe bother you because I've been noticing it recently. And in fact, I've only seen two other people with this kind of water bottle and it's beautiful on their bikes. So as much as I love this water bottle, there's one thing I didn't like about the water bottle, but then I found a solution to it. This is a beautiful cap and this is a beautiful bottle, but the cap hole is really small. So trying to pour powder into it, I spilled some and I didn't like that. But then I thought, well, I have a funnel. So I put a funnel on it, poured my stuff into it, it worked really well. So when you read their website, one of the things that they say is you can ride your bike with the cap up and it's not gonna spill. I didn't really believe that, so I did it. And then this has fluid and I have carpet down here. So look at this. It leaked a little bit when I shook it upside down, but you don't ride with it upside down, right? So that looks pretty good, right? I'm shaking it, it's upside down. There you go. Truth in advertising. Another interesting thing about this bottle is it's a very soft bottle. And when I first got the bottle, I, I was thinking it's kind of flimsy. I didn't really like the way it felt, but it's really nice because when you drink from it, it's really squeezable and it just, it flows into you very powerful if you're looking for a big, hard squeeze of fluid on a hot day. Well, I think that just about covers it. The A Block Arrive Water Bottle. The award-winning in design, beautiful, water bottle. I really like it. 415 love here. And until the next time, I hope to see you out there on the road.